<clears throat> you know what? <clears throat> there's this waiting and what there's this wait and watch energy, you know? Uh both of y'all. There's seven of pentacles out here and there's seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck here. And out here there's the devil out here. This person that you're dealing with is obsessed with you. Okay? Is obsessed with you is what I'm getting here. This is a very obsessive addiction addicted connection that they have with you it's very toxic of course here this person could have their guards up all this while is what i'm getting here okay like they're constantly trying to keep you away keep you at bay you know keep your arms length they don't trust you and um could be someone who's gone through a bad past because of which they don't allow people to come very close and you're probably the closest that you've got okay uh, this is something that's becoming a burden, a stress to them, okay? So probably they have too much on their plate, okay? Or they're just looking at this relationship uh, where uh, you guys aren't in communication is what I'm getting here, okay? And this person is letting their guards down finally because not talking to you and staying away from you is becoming too much of a burden for them, okay? It's too much of a stress. So I think they're looking forward, uh, waiting and watching about what they can do next to invest into this connection. You on the other hand here, I think with the Wheel of Fortune, Justice and Knight of Swords, I think you're, you're on your way out. You're on your way out. Um, Seven of Pentacles, the Death, Ace of Wands. I think you're looking towards a brand new beginning in another area of your life, okay? So there's some newfound love, there's some newfound passion, or you're just going to do you. And then you're trying to move forward. You're embracing the change that has happened in this relationship out here. You want justice. You want things to be fair. You want things to be balanced. And you're not ready to settle for anything less, okay? But I think for you, it's like this is an opportunity here which you were holding back all this while, okay? You had an opportunity to leave this relationship and this time you're grabbing it and you're just letting it go. With the death here and the seven of pentacles here, I think you're putting an end to this connection out here, okay? You're no longer wanting to uh, hold on to this connection because you probably are very disappointed out here and things are just taking too long to get into fruition here okay the death eight of wands three of cups this person out here realizes that things weren't fair with you okay and now this person wants to come towards you with a reconciliation they want you back this person wants you back but have they changed have they changed their ways i don't think so i mean yes they've let their guards down but that's only because you stopped talking to them only because you're choosing to walk away okay so it's like they realize that life isn't that good green without you the grass wasn't greener on the other side okay let's see how do you how does how does Aquarius feel for this person how does Aquarius feel for this person that they're dealing with how does Aquarius feel for this person that they're dealing with see this person loves you and you love them too come on Aquarius let's not lie okay Let's not lie. You have the two of cups, the hangman and the page of wands here. This person feels a very, very strong soulmate connection to you. Okay. This person feels like you guys are emotionally on the same page. Okay. They have a lot of love for you, a lot of emotions for you. Okay. And um, with the hangman here, I feel this person right now is trying to see things from a different point of view, which is a great thing, right? But it's just that things are stuck and stagnant out here because they're... Uh, I feel things are at a pause right now, okay? This person is trying to keep the connection on hold, which is, what, which is what is frustrating for you and you're probably just wanting to move forward out here. But the only reason the situation is on hold is probably because they're trying to think of a way, of the best way to come towards you, okay? So they're not ready to come towards you. So they're trying to gain more perspectives, trying to see things from a different angle out here, okay? From every different angle. And then they're wanting to approach you with communication here because page of wands is communication. One thing I'd like to tell you is you're probably dealing with someone a little immature okay i don't think this is someone who can handle the kind of commitment that you're expecting from them or handle the kind of relationship you want from them they're just not ready okay but the emotions are there the connection is there the lovers the emperor in reverse and the hermit in reverse okay yeah they're coming back around is what i'm getting they're coming back around this person's very paranoid one reason that could hold this person back is probably this person because this person has paranoia okay this person overthinks and over analyzes a situation okay which leads to no action okay so a lot of fear building up from their side but yeah this is a control freak okay my view of the highway they want you but in their terms okay uh, but the lovers here with the two of cups here, dude, you can't move shake this connection off. It's too strong. All right, let's see. Uh, how does this person feel for Aquarius? How does this person feel for Aquarius? How does this person feel for Aquarius deep down? How does this person feel for Aquarius deep down? A lot of fives. How does this person feel for Aquarius deep down? 
this was even close, but it's deep down. Wow! Aquarius, you're very clear about what you want. You could have been um, very confused. You could have been probably living in your dream world all this while. I feel you're very clear, okay? So all this while, I feel you were in your dream world, you know? It's more like um, like a fantasy world where you probably thought something was working out in your favor or you were just, you know, in that... Uh, you were daydreaming a lot about this person, okay? You were not basically looking at things for what it is. And now you have a reality check of the situation here. You do feel left out in the cold. You have a lot of disappointment from your side out here, okay? You feel left out. There's a lot of disappointment that you have from this person out here. And there's a lot of sadness around this breakup, separation, etc. Very low vibration, very negative energy out here. But uh, yeah, this person makes you feel very lonely, okay? This person uh, is someone here who probably, because of which, I wouldn't blame this person here with the five of pentacles on your side. I feel you're the one who feels undervalued. You're you're the one who feels unappreciated. You're the one who feels you need that approval, okay? That this person wants you. They love you. They need you, okay? So, yeah, there's this sense of clinginess or more than neediness coming from your side, if not clinginess out here, okay? But, yeah, you're very upset about this. Like, downright upset about this. And I think you were very emotionally attached to this person. You were more like a mother figure to this person. You know, more like very motherly, trying to care about this person. You know, you would overlook all their faults, all their uh, all the red flags in this relationship in the name of love. But now you've learned to put yourself as a priority out here, okay? You're loving yourself first. And, uh, wow, you're taking a leap of faith out here, okay? taking a leap of faith here you could have been juggling this decision for a very long time you know going back and forth do i want this do i not want this you're finally dropping this person is what i'm getting here taking a leap of faith taking a new direction okay because with the lovers here in reverse here um this person has it in a bright you have it in the reverse so now this person approves of this connection not approves that wouldn't be the right word this person acknowledges this connection now okay it's like they're ready to make a decision of what they really want with you so it's no more that sexual attraction anymore it's more like they want to get into this and give you what you deserve slow and steady okay so it's like you're on your way to commitment with this person is what i'm getting here but you on the other hand you do feel like you have been taken advantage of okay you feel you were more emotionally involved in this connection than this person out here and probably this person here was just struggling to make a decision of what they wanted with you but yeah it's the hangman the hangman is the only thing that i see here which is probably taking a lot of time for them to come towards you but if you still want to be with this person, give them this time, okay? Give them this time. It's better they come towards you correct rather than come towards you quickly and do the same shit, right? All right, let's see. What what action will Aquarius take towards this person moving forward? What action will Aquarius take towards this person moving forward? What action will Aquarius take towards this person moving forward? What action will Aquarius take towards this person moving forward? Cute. Okay, so uh, we have the Six of Wands, the Strength, and the Three of Swords in reverse here. This person out here is trying to get over the breakup, okay? They do want a reconciliation, and believe me, they will do whatever, whatever it takes. They're going to put in their full power, full strength, willingness, and determination to make this happen with you, okay? This is someone who's very, very confident, okay? They want success, they want victory with you, and they won't stop, okay? They won't stop till they won't get it. But uh, the, my only problem is with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, the Justice in reverse, and the High Priestess here. Yes, this person here is wanting to give you that um, um, that offer that you've been wanting all this while, but they do fear rejection. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Justice in reverse, the High Priestess. They're trusting their intuition. Okay. They're trusting their intuition. Their intuition is guiding them towards you. But there's still a lack of stability and security so the emotions are there the passion is there okay but that stability which you want okay which has put the entire thing on hold right now with you it's like they realize that they want this with you so they're ready to take it to the next step but the next step is clearly not reaching commitment as yet okay there's still a lack of a new start out here okay because this person probably has a lot of self-doubt all right but um yeah with the justice in reverse here I think this person does realize that they've done wrong things to you, okay? And they're getting their karma, is what I'm getting here. They're getting their karma. Alright, what action will this person take towards Aquarius moving forward? What action will this person take towards Aquarius moving forward? What action will this person take towards Aquarius moving forward? What action will this person take towards Aquarius moving forward? What action will this person take towards Aquarius moving forward? Oh, dude, you're done. 
<laughs> You're done. We have uh, the Three of Wands in reverse, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, and the Tower here. This is a situation which is draining you out emotionally, okay? It's almost like a wish fulfillment for you, okay? But the wish fulfillment turned into a nightmare, okay? That's what I'm getting here. This is someone here who you thought was someone that made you very happy or this is like the ultimate that you wanted, okay? Unfortunately, it is something that is just uh, no longer a wish fulfillment. You're giving up on this person, turning your back to this situation here. You're just being very impatient. If not impatient, you're just fed up and tired of waiting for this person or waiting for things to work out here. And I do feel this is someone here who's very slow moving, okay? So this person's keeping you on hold. We see that clearly. And you're no longer wanting to wait for this person, okay? You're on your way out because this is a very slow moving connection. You don't know where it's heading. You probably feel this person's not taking the initiative to give you anything solid, anything stable, anything secure. Which is why you're exiting this. And with the tower, I think you're just going to do it like... it's going to, You're going to come off as a shocker to this person. When this person comes back towards you. It's going to be like a shock. You're going to give them the shock of their life. Like, I'm gone. I'm done. Okay? It's like almost like a huge realization that you had that, Oh my God, I was on hold all this while. It's like, you know what happens sometimes? That the opposite person usually will either give us the closure... Or they just tell us, you know, that it won't work out or, you know, probably, you know, you know, you know how, you know how people are, right? They don't want to say the entire thing, but they'll keep you on hold indirectly. And when you wait for them and then when they come back and you're like, you know, I was waiting for them. They were like, well, I never asked you to wait for me, you know, if, you know, you understand what I'm saying? So you keep yourself on hold either if you get the closure or you don't get the closure. So it's up to you to keep yourself on hold out here. Okay. And that's what this person is doing here. They're keeping the entire situation on hold and here you are wanting to wait for them. But now, yeah, there's a huge realization from your side. It's more like an epiphany, you know, it's like, dude, what am I doing all this while? Why am I waiting for this person out here? Is it even making me happy? Nine of Cups in reverse. I don't think it is, okay? Nine of Cups in reverse, six of Wands in reverse, three of Cups in reverse. You know what? The entire energy, you know, it's like the tables have turned. You have, they have the six of Wands here, you have the six of Wands in reverse. Now you don't want to make this happen because you don't believe, you don't have that confidence that it will work out with this person, okay? Because it didn't work out in the past. So you're like, what is going to make it work out now? Okay, um, yeah, you're just holding back right now. And three of cups in reverse here, I don't think you're in any mood of wanting a reconciliation with this person. You're just like, you know, wanting to just stay away from this person as much as you can. Because uh, the happiness in this connection is probably just over and done with. I want to check out the tower. What's the tower? What's the tower? What's the tower here? What's the tower? It's like, you know, I, I'm getting like one one fine day, you just wake up and you're like, dude, what was I doing with this person? Why am I waiting? Why am I holding on? Why am I not exploring other options here? Eight of swords. Yeah, see, there's some information that you probably found out, okay, which is uh, making you feel like, dude, what am I doing? Now, keep in mind here, when I say there's some information that you found out, a lot of readers say there's some information you found out. Now, page of swords is the energy of stalking, okay? This is not only stalking, but this is also finding out more information. You could be stalking, you could be finding information about your connection through tarot, through uh, probably just talking to other people. But in my experience, um, when when I went through a breakup, I, I, I went uh, through um, a lot of um, YouTube channels, okay, where people were asking me to detach, where there was a lot of, uh, you know, um, talk about why your ex comes back, etc. So I've learned a lot and I try and follow the patterns. And was one of the reasons they say your ex comes back is probably because they're bored or probably because they're just like, um, you know, they're not happy where they are. Some genuinely come back because they want you. But some of them are just feeling guilty. Some of them are just lonely or bored or horny. I don't know what is going on. But this is what is there, which is making you feel like, you know what, I'm done. And no regrets, you're moving forward is what I'm getting here. Okay. So that's what I have for you. I hope this reading resonates and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.